Hey, this is Laviano Andrade Vicente. You may know me from my work in MCAT prep at the MCAT Disciples. But this has nothing to do with MCAT prep and everything to do with this quick and dirty sketch I made about Trophirma Whipley, a bug that wasn't covered by Sketchy Medical, but every now and again had the tendency to rear its head on exams and such, albeit a rare disease. So I decided to make a sketch about him. Without further ado, Trophirma Whipley, called his Whipple's disease, as denoted by the trophies in the background of this trophy store, and the whip being held by an older white gentleman. Why an older white gentleman, you might ask? Well, because this is payback for the rabies sketch, and because historically speaking, white men have always... I'm just kidding. It's an older white gentleman because, albeit a rare disease, Whipple's disease is most common in older Caucasian men. This gentleman is rod-shaped to denote that Trophirma Whipley is a rod-shaped, gram-positive intracellular bacterium. Additionally denoted by the blue background for gram-positive and the fact that we are inside of a store for intracellular bacterium. Trophirma Whipley is found in soil, as denoted by the soil on top of this weight scale on the bottom right of this sketch. How did that soil get there, you might ask? Well, about three seconds ago, this older Caucasian man was on this scale, right before he started throwing a tantrum here, and the reason why he's throwing a tantrum is because the weight scale read no gains. In fact, it read that he was losing weight. So that output of no gains is supposed to remind you that Trophirma Whipley will cause malabsorption and ultimately weight loss despite eating tons of food. Tissue that is infected with Trophirma Whipley will stain past positive, as denoted by this purple brain being passed by this pitcher to the older white gentleman. The purple is to remind you that periodic acid shift stain positive will be purple, and it is a brain to remind you of the neurologic symptoms that your firma Whipley infection will cause, particularly dementia and memory problems. Foamy macrophages that are past positive will actually be diagnostic for a Trophirma Whipley infection, as denoted by the foam coming out of this can as well as the past positive purple brain. Why a can? Well, that can is supposed to remind you of the mnemonic to remember the major symptoms caused by Whipple's disease, which is going to be cardiac symptoms, arthralgias, abdominal symptoms, and neurologic symptoms. The cardiac symptoms are represented in the sketch by the heart in the center of the older white gentleman, with the green dots on the valves to represent endocarditis, particularly bacterial endocarditis because this is a gram-positive intracellular rod-shaped bacterium. The black lines coming from the elbows of this older white gentleman is supposed to represent polyarthralgia felt in Whipple's disease. The green dots on the intestine is supposed to represent the abdominal pain, the mesenteric lymphadenopathy, and the malabsorption felt during Whipple's disease. All of these symptoms, by the way, are, are chronic symptoms that don't necessarily all appear at once. In fact, they appear over time and don't necessarily all appear together. Finally, the final most common symptom of Whipple's disease is going to be the neurologic symptoms of dementia and memory loss. You will also feel diarrhea and steratorrhea, but that is going to be very late in this chronic disease. You will also occasionally find skin hyperpigmentation denoted by these black lines on this white gentleman. The etiology of this is unknown. The treatment for Trophirma Whipley infection, that is Whipple's disease, is going to be IV penicillin or ceftriaxone and a maintenance dose of trimethoprim sulfamisoxol. The penicillin is represented by the purple pencils. The ceftriaxone is represented by the axe, all being thrown here by the pitcher at this older white gentleman. And the maintenance trimethoprim sulfamisoxol is represented by the typical smelly sulfa eggs as TMPSMX is a sulfa drug. Now diagnostically, you can come to this diagnosis of Whipple's disease based on the appearance of the small intestine on histological section that you would obtain via upper endoscopy and ultimately biopsy. And that is, again, past positive foam and macrophages. But you'd really only do this if you had a really strong clinical suspicion and all of these classic symptoms came all at once, which they don't always do. Or you've already ruled out things like inflammatory bowel disease. Another way you can diagnose it is via PCR of maybe the lymph nodes that are infected. And so we represented uh, this whip as also a chain to represent polymerase chain reaction. So we'll just show you the histological appearance and then we'll wrap this up. Here is the small intestine with foamy macrophages denoted for you here by these arrows. 
And if we do a pass stain on this, you'll find that you'll have pass positive vesicles in the foamy macrophages in the lamina propria of the small intestine. And that would be, again, diagnostic for Whipple disease caused by Trofema whipplei. Just wrapping up here, Trofema whipplei is a gram-positive, rod-shaped intracellular bacterium that is typically found in soil and causes Whipple's disease, typically but rarely in older Caucasian men. The symptoms that it can cause is cardiac symptoms, particularly endocarditis, arthralgias, particularly polyarthralgias, abdominal symptoms such as abdominal pain, mesenteric lymphadenopathy, and, malabs and malabsorption. Finally, the neurologic symptoms are things like dementia and memory loss. You can diagnose it via past positive foamy macrophages on histological section, and it can also cause diarrhea and steratorrhea. Treatment is going to be IV penicillin or ceftriaxone, and a maintenance dose of TMP-SMX. Hope you enjoyed the sketch.